Welcome back to the channel and if you're new here make sure you click that subscribe button so you can get all the latest updates on anything that's boat related including installs, reviews, and upgrades for your uh, marine applications or boating experience. Today's episode what we're going to do is on the 2021 Yamaha 210 FSH Sport we're going to start with putting in some kill mat to help deaden the sound of that motor noise that you hear when you're out on the water. Uh, there's going to be a few things that you need when you're doing this application and that's going to start off with a roller now this roller right here is for the dynamat as you can see the dynamat comes pre-pressed with a design these little rectangular shapes for this to be properly installed you're going to want to roll this mat on until it is smooth um, with smooth surface completely smooth surface if you do not do that it's not properly adhered and deadened and you won't get the performance that you wanted out of it. The second thing you're going to need is a plastic scraper or some sort of scraper. This is to get the old egg carton foam off the top of the um, hatch for your engines uh, access. And what that's going to do is help you with this. Gugon Pro Power Adhesive Remover or some acetone, get that glue and foam off of the original. Um, it's not really a sound deadener, it is just an absorbent foam mat. It's called, everybody calls it egg carton, but it's going to help you get that off cleanly. That way, you can put the kill mat on and then reapply your um, egg carton foam on top of that. And what you're going to need for that is I have here 3M Super 77 spray adhesive. There's also 3M Super 90 adhesive. Either one will work. If you want a stronger adhesive, you want to go with the 90. I like the 77. It's one that I prefer, but either or will do the job. And lastly, what you're going to want to do is in this installation, we're not going to remove the hatch. We're going to leave it as is on this boat because it is a small area, easy to work on and the risk to benefit factor of removing that seat and that hatch is not worth it in my opinion always feel free to do what you feel most comfortable with but today i'm going to have a couple towels to lay over my engines so that any kind of uh you know adhesive overspray or foam droppings don't get down into my engine and make it all dirty and nasty so with that said let's go ahead and get this project started all right now we have placed our towels over the engine bay to catch any debris that's falling off and to also stop any kind of accidents from happening to the motors themselves and we are going to start the process of removing this egg carton foam from the ceiling of the hatch now, as you can see this one's sagging they do not adhere the center section all they do is adhere these edges you can see here it's a spray glue just like the one I'm going to be using and I need to get my adhesive remover and start to apply it and you know scrape it with my plastic scraper so I'm going to get in there and I'm going to scrape this off and I'm going to be doing that using the Goo Gone Pro Power Goo and Adhesive Remover so let's go ahead and get started with that Now that we have removed the foam from the underside of your engine hatch you can see here that it's uh, there's a cut slit in the middle of it so that because it was mounted or put, applied before this was put together and then they cut the slit to allow this to go on now you have two options here you can either remove that remove this out of the way if you feel like it you could cut a slit down the back side to remove it 
or you can leave it as is. I am going to leave as is because I'm gonna clean this up and once I'm finished, I'm gonna coat it right here, coat the bottom side of the kill mat with the adhesive spray, let it get tacky for about 30 seconds to a minute, and then I'm just gonna slide it back up and reapply it over. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use my adhesive remover, clean up all this bottom side area, make sure it's nice and clean and free of any debris so I can start applying my kill mat. Let's get right to it. back we have now removed 99% of the glue of course you know after a while you get tired and there's gonna be some little spots but you'll know where you'll be laying your kill mat and where you don't need to go up in these corners too hard because we're gonna stay around here and then up across here back down around here and then down and around the bottom here so we've got it cleaned what I did was started out with a plastic scraper and that was uh not very stiff so i moved to a metal one now disclaimer when you move to a metal one this is a gel coated surface so you want to make sure that you're holding the blade as flat as possible to the surface so you're not gouging your surface and you're not you know scraping off your gel coat now once i got most of that adhesive off with the goo gone pro power I moved over to a rag and isotone and kind of just wiped down the final areas that were still a little bit tacky and got rid of the rest of it. Now I've got a beautiful clean surface to work with and it is the time to apply the kill mat. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Okay, real quick, I wanted to stop and show you the difference between properly applied kill mat and improperly applied kill mat. Over here on the left, you can see it's a smooth surface, reflective, shiny surface with no dimples. And then over here on the right, which I haven't done yet and haven't rolled out, it's still got that pattern from the factory. You want your whole product to look like this at the end. So you gotta make sure you get a roller and roll that stuff on. Let's get back to it. So this is improperly installed killed mat. And this is properly installed kill mat. So you can see the difference. Smooth flat surface over here. Dimples all over the surface over here.
All right, we're back and we have applied the kill mat all the way on the underside of the engine bay door. What I am going to do now is I am going to wipe this down with acetone to get a nice clean surface to adhere to. I'm gonna clean up my mess down here, get all that scraped foaming loose glue that I cleaned off before. And then I'm gonna spray both the kill mat and the foam with the 3M Super 77 multi-purpose adhesive. All right, what you're gonna do is you're gonna spray this. Once you get everything clean and ready, you're gonna spray this. You're gonna let it dry for about a minute to get tacky. Um, you can touch it with your knuckle and if it comes off on your knuckle, it is not tacky yet. But if it sticks to your knuckle, it's ready to go. Same thing with this, touch it with your knuckle and make sure that it's tacky as well. Once the two are tacky, you press them firmly together, which will bond them and it would be a semi-permanent bond and uh, you'll be good to go. And now you'll have your sound deadener and still your egg, egg carton uh, foam barrier to actually add even more sound barrier to your engine bay. I'm also going to put some spots on the walls here, each side, and then down here on this wall, and then also the fuel cell underneath me door. So those, I'm not going to need to film all of them, you know, just choose what you want, where you want to put it, but this is what the door looks like. You can see here how everything's nice and smooth. All those ribbles, ripples have been ironed out of the kill mat it's tight no gaps holds in sound good and we're ready to go we're ready to put this foam on let that cure and do a couple more spots and hit the water and see how this thing turns out so let's finish this job up all right and now we have a clean surface prepped for the spray adhesive to apply reapply our foam carton soundproofing. The best way you can tell, all those kill mat inked on designs have been cleaned off. So now we know we got a clean surface, a dry surface to adhere to, and now we're gonna reapply the foam. Let's get to it. Alright, so our installation is done. We have our foam egg carton insulation back up over top of the kill mat. And then underneath here, where your fuel cell access door is, and this is for the Yamaha 210 FSH Sport, we went ahead and kill matted the bottom of that. Now, I have not done anything extra on the side walls and the forward wall. I left all that alone. My engine bay is completely kill mat free. And I'm going to tell you already, just that little bit. The glue is still drying. Got to make sure we get those pads in. Just that little bit done. I'm gonna show you right now. You don't hear barely any engine noise. That is all exhaust noise out back. Engine noise in here 
is nearly gone. All out the back. So, and that is with the kill mat 50 mil. And the reason I did 50 mil is because I wanted my door to still be able to use the stock shock and lift without being overwhelmed. And I'm very happy I went with that. It eliminated all that engine noise. I can't wait to get on the water and test it because it's gonna be even quieter without the exhaust being freely open. And uh, yeah, I'll post a video to my Instagram. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a great day. This is the FSH dude, and I'm out.